Well, folks, this is Ocean Watch. Oh, watch your weight. <laughs> round the uh, round around the Americas I don't, need, I don't need your pimply offshore ass. This is the boat that's gone three quarters of the way around the Americas. No. This is my rib, dude. Your team's fantastic. They gave me so much warning. You know, I have a hundred thousand dollar bitchin' rib. The Wonder Boy here called me at 10 o'clock last night. Hey, I called you earlier. Okay, it was 8 well, You might know Brad Van Lewis. We welcome in Ocean Watch from their quest uh, to go around all the way around the Americas. I can't hear you. Good. Good. Did you guys get the snot beat out of you the last couple days? Yes, we did. One. <laughs> yeah, the lovely time in the Gulf Stream. It's supposed to be gnarly, uh, rough and fancy, and it was gnarly and rough and fancy. It was kind of a bad thing. Charles, man. Yeah, yeah man. Good Charles. Right on. Can you go like a knot? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, there, my brother? What's up, dude? Good, Good to see, see you, man. Fresh air is whiter than mine. What the hell happened to you? I got old. Yeah, I know. I ended up bitch. I got Southern Ocean. It all happened in one two month period. <laughs> you take a look at their racks. We've been through the Northwest Passage already. And uh, now they're headed around the Cape, around the Cape Horn, Charleston and Miami in 32 odd stops. Mark Schrader, former organizer of the uh, Round Alone. What's the ice to see? What's on underneath there? Excited people, obviously. And these guys know each other well. Mark organized the. Mark was the director of the Round Alone when Brad uh, rolled and lost his rig and got nearly killed in the Southern Ocean. Tired uh, after a, a, a bit of a rough trip. Mark, welcome to Charleston. I know you've been here before. Hi there. Sweet to be here. It really is. This, this does feel like a second home for me. Yeah. A lot of good friends here and running the race out of here a few years ago. You know, we got to know a lot of people. Yeah. Great to be here. How was your trip down from uh, where the Carolinas? Um, no, we came down. We just came down from New York. All right. Um, so we came straight down from New York. A bit breezy out there. Well, hey? Actually, we didn't come straight down from New York. We did this, <laughs> and, 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 and that's exactly. So if you follow, you know, we just felt silly. So we probably cost ourselves maybe twelve or fourteen hours. Yeah. Had a gale on the nose for what thirty hours, and, and <laughs> as you uh, do you know, in the Gulf Stream and everything, you know. So we're going up and down and making nothing toward Charleston. Yeah. I think yeah. we were making a knot and a half VMG. But it just comes with the territory. Yeah. I mean, it was. Uh, that, now we're here. Yeah. I've yeah. forgotten about that already. So you, you, you've now been. You, you started in Seattle. You've been up through the Northwest Passage down. What's been your most memorable part of the trip? Well, I just looked at the log, and it's we're 9,535 miles. So, um, boy, highlights. I gotta say, I gotta say, the people along the way in the Northwest Passage and in the little communities and. Uh, we had a chance to talk to them and listen to their stories. That's been a highlight. But the scenery, as you can imagine, is just incredible. I mean, how about the wildlife? You see much? I mean, you see much whales. We saw, and we saw a lot of we saw a lot of whales, yeah. a lot of whales in southeast Alaska and in the Gulf of Alaska. We saw three polar bears, and that that was it. Wow. One pretty emaciated guy in Barrow who was swimming out toward the ice. He came on land, and the ice was over the horizon. So. 16, 17 miles away, and then two that were on the eastern side of the passage, pretty healthy ones, because there's good ice there. Right. Um, you know, everything is melting. The passage was a little different than we expected. You know, the ice is going away and it's melting, but the the it's pieces of the ice cap that have broken off and are sort of choking the the smaller passages that we were in, and that makes transiting in something like this. Um, a little problematic. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if in the next couple of years nobody would make it through this passage because of the old ice that's, that, you know, that's broken off and it's hasn't off from the yet. main Exactly, street, yeah. exactly. But um, pretty spectacular to be able to, and a pretty neat thing for all of us to be able to, to have gone through the passage. Now, now quickly, and I know you could talk about this for hours, and I've, I've certainly spent time watching, uh, checking out your site, which is great, uh, uh, what is it, roundtheamericas.org. Uh, but what is the goal of this expedition of you guys, uh, uh, supported by Sailors for the Sea, which we're a big supporter of as well, and as, as well as others? You know, the, the short answer is to get people to view the Americas as an island surrounded by one ocean, and we've got to take care of that ocean and to raise some awareness. 
and have that awareness translate into education programs K through 8. It's free on the web, great professionally done program on marine science and, and ocean health issues. Um, so, you know, if we're not teaching kids in schools about what's wrong now and what needs to be righted, you know, then we really are in trouble. Sure. So that's the goal. All right. So aroundtheamericas.org, teachers, parents, get your get your kids to look at this stuff and uh, bring it to the classroom or bring it home, you know? And, and if you like this kind of approach, find a way to support it. And that support might be just telling your kids' teachers that this is available. Great. And again, Spanish and English. Um, uh, or support it, you know, find a way to support it. The Great. oceans need it. All right. Well, nice job and uh, good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you.